Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. Last time we finally made some progress through Meridia. Now we've ended up in some, well, fortress or some equivalent thereof. In case it wasn't obvious already, the fact that there's a space pirate boss here means, of course, that, well, this is a space pirate facility. Very cold, frozen over. Frozen ice. I wonder what's weak to ice in the Metroid games. I, I do wonder. Hmm. It's probably nothing. But also this. This is cool. That was not. That was weird. Hmm. Oh god. Well, that feels spectacularly, but we can now make our way back up. Oh god. Alright, cool. Made it. Ooh. Let's do this. You know. Oh, bother. Hmm. If I can wall jump, I would be able to make it. On wall jump, don't fail me now. Weird. Tell you what I'll do instead then. Yes. Seems legit. We get missiles. Missiles are cool. No, my poor super missiles. So I'm gonna have to try that again. And hurt myself. Whoops. Okay, let's try that again. Again. Let's actually activate the speed boost first. Get some distance. You know, press down. What the fuck? Let's try this again. Let's go. There we go. All I need to do is make sure not to step on that. And super missiles for real. Thank you. Now I'm far worse for wear because of it. Whoops. Well... Deeper into here, then. Ow. Ooh, things to grind from. Do give me health, please. Yeah, that'll do. Be something else to this room. What's this? Not supposed to go up or down. Mm hmm. That's curious. Ah, there's another way up. Just gonna have to try that. Grinding a bit more, of course. Why not? Okay. Oh, so now it works. Ever the convenient mechanic, aren't you, wall jumping? 
Ah, here we are. And oh my goodness. Metroids. Only not quite. These are, um, I believe, referred to as mock droids. Well, for the simple reason that they are mock Metroids. Failed experiments created by the Space Pirates. Well, clone Metroids. Didn't quite work out because they didn't have the uh, baby Metroid, which is of course why they need it. They only have one little nuclei there, or one nucleus rather. And they can't latch onto you properly. They will try, but they will fail. As you can see, they retain their vulnerability to ice, which is probably why the space pirates kept them contained in here. In this freezer. Right, it's obvious what I need here. Speed booster time. But yes, the mock droids are no threat at all. Also, suddenly mini boss time. Against Botwoon. Not a difficult boss, he just pops from one hole to the next. Thing is, you can only hit his head, which is a relatively small target. He'll occasionally stop to do that. I have plenty of super missiles, though, I should be fine. And yeah, he died. Yeah, he's nothing once you have the required firepower. But he's only the minute boss of this place, the real fight is yet to come. Also, the real energy tank is yet to be gotten. Because there it is. Yeah, I'm gonna try and sneak into there from the top. No, it didn't quite work out. It's not a difficult one to get. What I need to do is make it under here. Just gonna bomb your way up here. Just keep track of the way you have to go. I could have just speed boosted here, couldn't I? Actually, let's try that. I believe you can from this distance, can't you? Oh, very easily. Oh, God. Um. Okay. Also, you want to keep to the upper path, otherwise you'll fall down and we'll have to try again. Like so. Whoops. Okay. That didn't work out. Also, you things, please die. Right, so once again, get to the end. Just before the final stretch, use the bombs to go back up here and whoosh, energy tank. And believe me, I could use it. Now I'll just use the speed booster to get back across quickly and easily. More mock droids, huh? killed by this. Right, can't get over there yet, so... Okay now, Mock Droid. This thing's giving me more trouble than it's worth. Tell you what I'll do. That. Okay. I'll take it. And what the fuck? Okay. 
Sometimes a grappling beam will do that to you. Ah, wall jumping. Pots will love it. Mock droids not got to love them. Thanks. But yes, there's a reason they want you to get used to using the grappling beam. Well, it's not an odd, awfully specific reason, it's actually quite a secret trick. Uh, not a fair few people know about it now, I imagine, but... Damn it. Um, even so something I'll want to show off, because it's uh, quite hilarious, if I do say so myself. Oh, this bit's tricky. Alright, let's try this from the top. Or, you know, not do that. Whoa, Jesus! Okay. Yeah. For some reason I thought I would wall jump there despite not spinning. Whoops. There we go. Only took me long enough. Should be a recharge room over here, so I'll head there first. Ah, of course. There's a reason you'll need this. Almost certainly. graphical effects they had here, like even in the save room they're sort of soaking wet. Hmm. That is kind of cool. But anyway, if you couldn't tell by the energy in save rooms, it's boss time or near enough. Now, let's get through here. Right. That's the extra scope. That does not allow you to uh, grapple. This is a power bomb, which allows me to get a missile tank. Apparently, fair enough. Right, there's no going through there. Do you know what? I'll take the hit or the the not hit. Okay. Maybe this needs a power bombing. Mm. Actually, let's whip out the X-ray scope. Okay. Oh, hello, boss door. Goodbye, boss door. But yes, anyway. Now to face the boss of Meridia. Dragon. Um... Dragon? Oh god. Actually, I tell you what, these turrets, I would like them gone. Oh. There's a bunch of mini dragons, the creatures we saw earlier. But where's the parent then? The big bad space pirate leader himself. Or herself, perhaps, I can't tell. Um. Oh god! The thing is huge! 
what you're normally supposed to do is dodge its rolling and use super missiles, that old jazz. What you could do is let him grab you, at which point he will attempt to uh, ram you into walls and stab you with his tail. But what you can do, if I can just reach it... Come on. God. There we go. Use the grappling beam on one of these things, it will electrocute him. To death. And I paused for some reason. Yeah, that's it. He's quite literally dead. And then his children show up. And probably begin eating him. Okay. That's, that's, that's cool. I can deal. Yes, for winning against this guy. Space jump. So it wasn't obvious by the arena we couldn't have got out of anyway. Space jump works as much as it did before. Get a momentum going and you can jump endlessly. There's nothing in here, is there? Nope. Ah, I love the space jump. So is there another way out of here, perhaps? No? Right then, time to move on. Now that we've crushed Dragon. Probably a good idea would be to heal up. And then, not leave Meridia just yet, since there, as I mentioned before, the Plasma Beam waits here. And the Plasma Beam is something we probably definitely want. That much is certain. Not today, Mark Droids. So what I'll do first is sprint past here. Refill the old energy tanks. And then promptly save where we'll end this episode off, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. So yes, next time we'll go hunting for the plasma beam and then... Well, that just leaves one space pirate boss left. That being, of course, Ridley. See you all then. <laughs>